let's talk about shortcut keys. Shortcut keys allow you to access SketchUp functions by using a single key or combination of keys on your keyboard. The main reason for the shortcut keys is to save you time so that you can access functions faster than if you had to access them from a toolset. Notice here I'm using the toolset on the left hand side of the screen but every time I need to switch to a new tool my cursor has to leave the modeling space and activate the tool. This is costing me precious seconds. So that took about 41 seconds. Let's now make that same model again but using shortcut keys. I'll go R for rectangle, type in my dimensions, D for draw line, R for rectangle again, using inferencing to find that square, E for erase, Q for offset, typing in that, nu that number, spacebar to activate the select tool, G to make it a group, and A to add volume for the push pull. That took me about 21 seconds. Although SketchUp comes with pre-installed shortcut keys, I'm going to show you how to create your own shortcut keys now and also how to import a preferences file that replaces or adds new shortcut keys in one go. First of all, you go to Window, Preferences, and into the Shortcut section. If I go into this filter and type Line, Notice I have a heap of functions here under the line filter. The one I'm interested in is draw lines line. Notice that the shortcut assigned section here works for both L and D. If I want to change this manually, I can single click onto the D and then press the minus symbol. To add that back in, single click into the add shortcut field tap D and then press plus. If I now want to import a whole heap of shortcut keys that someone else has provided, I can go import, navigate to the location of the shortcut file. In this case, I'm going to use the shortcut file that we recommend for all of our trainees. Single click onto that. And just in case, it's worth checking options down here because these preferences file can also override your file locations. So make sure that that's turned off. Press OK and then press Import. You will be presented with a series of dialogues saying, do you want to replace this key with this key, etc, etc. The answer to all of those will be yes. Once that's all done, you can check them. For example, by going to Line, going to Draw Lines Line, and just checking that you have D and L assigned. By the way, if you want to export your shortcut list so that someone else can then import it, just press this export button. Let's press OK. The SketchUp shortcut keys that come pre-installed are pretty good, but they're kind of all over the place. Also, there are some really important tools that don't have shortcuts at all. For example, if I make this rectangle or cube using R for rectangle, A for add volume, or P for push pull, and now I want to make this into a group. Previously, I would have had to have selected this object, right clicked, and go make group, because there is no shortcut key for make group. I've actually changed my shortcuts so that make group is G. I'll show you here. And now if I wanted to make a component, I hold down Shift and tap G. It's worth noting another really important shortcut that isn't included with the default shortcuts in SketchUp is Hide or View Rest of Model. Now normally you would access this from here, Component Edit, Hide Rest of Model, and hide similar components as well. I'll show you both of these now. Notice I have them assigned to the Alt-R and Alt-S keys. I'm going to make some copies of this component. And I'm going to open up this one of these components. Notice that the similar components are slightly grayed out and the objects that aren't components are even more grayed out. 
By tapping Alt-R, I can hide everything that is not a similar component. Alt-R again makes it visible again. Alt-S hides all similar components. Alt-S again makes those visible. And so if I want to work in a space where I only have to see the component I'm working on, I can turn on Hide Rest of Model and Hide Similar Components with just two shortcut commands. Also to do with visibility, if I only want to temporarily hide something, normally I would have to right click and press Hide. But I've added a shortcut for this. So I can select these two objects and press H. And then if I want to unhide them, all I need to do is hold down Shift and tap H. Another shortcut that I find really useful is switching between parallel projection and perspective. Notice I've assigned the V key here. I can tap V and that switches me very quickly from parallel projection to perspective. There you go. There are some of the shortcuts that SketchUp doesn't come installed with by default, but I find really useful. I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video that will allow you to download my recommended shortcuts and also some cheat sheets that cover the most important shortcuts so that you can print that out as a quick reference guide if you need it.